I thought I would do a video with my two little furry friends here. Um, yeah, they say never work with animals and that's exactly what I'm trying to do today. Um, but I first saw this pet tag video on Gillian at Home's video with her dog Louie and I thought what a perfect video to do and we've actually got the dogs around today because they do live at my mum's now and uh, they'll come around today so we can dog sit them so I thought I would take the opportunity to film this video they're probably not going to be in all of this video um, they're being very reluctant now um, as you can see and I've had to bribe them with lots of biscuits um, but yeah hopefully you can see a little bit of them for some of the video and then I can get on with the rest of the video actually doing the tag so I'm gonna start with Toby because he is here I've put Oscar outside because um, they just will not get on well together um, and I don't really know how well Toby's gonna sit for this oh he might just sit like this so Toby is our Yorkshire Terrier he is eight years old and we have had him ever since he was a puppy um, we got him when I was in year eight so I was about 12 or 13 at school and we got him from probably what was like a puppy farm but at the time we thought it was just like somewhere that they bred dogs um, and apparently Toby and there was another Yorkie in there but Toby was getting bullied and obviously at the time Toby was the smaller of the two so they thought oh cute let's take him home and he was supposed to be a teacup but as you can see he is not a teacup Yorkie he is quite the little bundle bless him um, but yeah we wouldn't have him any other way I will insert a picture of what he looked like when he was a puppy because he was so so tiny he was like really dark brown and black and I remember he used to before we had our kitchen redone at my mum's um, we had this sort of like little rack area um, where we'd store bottles and things but he would like just curl up in that little rack area um, but yeah if you didn't know Yorkshire Terriers actually take about three years for them to get to the, like their final colour so he started off that really dark black and brown and then he went really really silver and we called him the silver fox and then he went really really ginger um, and now you can sort of see he's a mixture of all three he's very sort of ginger on the front but got a little bit of a grey black going on at the back um, yeah Toby is afraid of pretty much everything you can think of any loud noise any new person he's like very wary about uh, and will be scared of anything and everything but obviously like if it's a, he's more inclined to people than he is animals he doesn't like to meet animals out and about um, he's the complete opposite of Oscar um, which I'll go on to in a minute is he falling asleep? just breathing heavily well that's another thing about him he has a very long you know that little dangly bit at the back of your throat he has a and not an enlarged but it's just longer than normal um, and so it sounds like he's like snoring and breathing really really heavily um, but he can still breathe um, they said it's nothing to like operate on um, but for a while we did take him in about that um, another thing is I don't know if you can see his ears are flopped over when he was obviously a puppy and up to maybe like I can't remember how old but for a good like three or four years his ears stood up and one day one ear just flopped it was so weird if I can find pictures I'll insert them and for ages he just had one ear sticking up one ear sticking down it was the weirdest thing we were like googling it um, but no one could really give us an answer um, and then one day the other ear dropped as well so now both of them droop and he's he looks like a little teddy bear if you ask me so obviously I first saw this video at Gillian um, from Gillian at Home's channel and there was a set of questions and I did intend to write them down but I think I'm just gonna sort of go off the cuff um, a little bit um, one, th one of the questions was um, do you have any nicknames for your dogs um, they have so so many Toby's main one is Ratty um, because Darren says he looks like a little rat which he calls any small dog a rat to be honest so that's nothing really personal to Toby um, and you may think that's really mean but um, it's just an affectionate term we have for him he gets called all sorts of things um, the Tobster 
he sometimes gets called like really extreme things like we'll call him Toberto and then Roberto, um, Tobias, I mean they're just sort of extended versions, I don't know if you could hear him. Yeah, him breathing really heavily. Um, sometimes you think you're like crushing him, but it's just like how he breathes. Um, so yeah, Toby, Tobster. Obviously, I cannot think of them all off the top of my head. Tobster, Toby, Roberto, Toberto little rat <laughs> but yeah if I can think of any more in editing I'll put them back on the screen um oh he's just gonna curl up now good boy yeah good boy Toby so yeah I will look at questions and see if there's anything other I can add to this quirky traits I mean obviously there's a ton of things I could say about Toby but he is just my, my little sweetie pie yes you are Oh, and he will sometimes just be. Re he can be really, really affectionate. He's really, really needy. Um, he loves, loves attention. Loves cuddles, um, and he is just like he looks like my little teddy bear. And I love to just like. He has the cutest little nose. Don't you? He has the cutest little nose. But yeah. People say I torture him in the sense that I just give him so much affection and love and also aggravate him a little bit and like try and play with him. Um, I'll try and insert some little videos of him just so you can see his real personality. He loves to, and back at my mum's, he loves to like get him really, really close behind you um, to feel that sort of like comfort, I guess, of like being close to the mother. Um, so he'll like get right up next to you behind you on the sofa so like you do feel like you're crushing him um, and like he loves to like get him right next to you in bed things like that um, and like if you go out to him with a toy he'll like really start to snarl um, he doesn't do it in like an aggressive way too it's just the fact that like something his toy is coming near him and he sort of wants to play but doesn't want to play um, if I can find that footage I'll insert it um, but yeah, I think that might be all I have to say on Toby. Um, he is my little angel face. Hey. And obviously we've had him the longest. Um, I mean, we don't have favourites, obviously. Um, but Toby's like our little firstborn. Um, both of these dogs are really, really food orientated. They absolutely love their food. I remember once we were around at my aunt's and my cousin was like sat at her little table and she had a little biscuit and she must have turned away for like two seconds and Toby grabbed it out of her hand. Um, yeah, and uh, he just, they love their food. They like to get up very early for their food. So um, yeah, you could say these dogs rule the roost really. Definitely. One cute little thing that Toby does. I usually pop into my mum's after work if I'm, um, because where our office is, it's it's nearer to my mum's. So I will usually, if I'm at the office, I will pop in and see her and obviously see the dogs, and um, they get so excited to see me. And Toby does this little thing where he'll like start to not snarl but like he'll start to smile and like his little gums will go up and you can see his little teeth and it's like he's smiling because he's so excited to see you um so that i would say is like his little quirky thing when he gets really really excited he will smile he's just so adorable aren't you you just oh you're like a baby please look at this dog he absolutely Loves affection. Do you? Yeah. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You just love the love. You just love the love. Yes, you do. Oh, he's had enough. Yeah, enough. Don't go out. 
I'm going to Oscar. I may see if I can bring our screen just for a, a quick second so you can see him. Um, but I think Toby's time is finished now. Isn't that right? You want to go see Darren? He absolutely loves Darren. Like he, Toby loves to be with male company. Um, as much as he loves me and my mum, he loves to be with Darren and my dad. Um, and any man that comes to the house, he'll like be drawn to. So yeah. Time to go. Where, where's Jessica? Where's Jessica? Should we go find Oscar? Yeah. Come on. So I managed to grab Oscar for a little, little bit. Um, don't know how how well he'll stay here, but uh, this is Oscar. He is our Westie, our West Highland Terrier, and literally so so adorable. He is our white little polar bear. Um, yeah, so Oscar is 10 and we've had him for three years. Um, so back in January of 2014, my dad has a friend that lives in Wales who rescues um, dogs, puppies, and she like fosters them, waiting for them to get new homes. Yeah, right. And at the time, my nan was she wasn't particularly thinking about getting another dog, she'd had Alsatians pretty much all of the time, well at least I'd known her and like when my mum was growing up and my aunts, she'd always had uh, big dogs and she'd always wanted like a small dog, like a poodle, something like that and my dad obviously saw Oscar was needing a new home and showed it to her at Christmas and she fell in love with him, didn't she? And he fell in love with you. And um, yeah, so he showed her a picture of him and uh, he, she just fell in love. And within literally a matter of weeks, we were bringing Oscar back from Wales and he went and stayed with my nan. So yeah, it's quite a, quite a long story of how we now have him. Um, but I'll just talk a little bit about the time my nan had him. When um, I remember me and my dad took him round quite late in the evening and um, the first thing he did was went into our living room because Westies are very very inquisitive like he was, so he was like searching the whole of her little um, her little flat and then he went in and peed on her sofa he literally just cocked his leg and peed on her sofa and we were horrified and like bless my nan she was really really like calm about it she was like he's just marking his territory it's fine and he did that as well when he came to ours for the first time, like my mum's house. Touch wood, there is no wood on this couch. Um, he hasn't done it here, which we were very on edge about. Um, but yeah, he likes to mark his territory, like the first time he's in a place. Um, so he did that. And um, yeah, so my nan got him in January and she was um, suffering from cancer. Um, we didn't know it was as bad then, but... Um, for the next couple of months she really couldn't look after him that much and we were starting to have him at ours more often like when we were still at my mum's um, when she went into hospital for treatment and things like that and then my nan passed away it's actually literally just been three years this past week um, in the June of 2014 and um, she said to us like on her la on her f the final day where we saw her we saw her on the Friday in the hospice and um, she was like, oh, what's going to happen to Oscar? Is he going to have to, um, I suppose he's going to have to go back to the foster people. And we were like, no, he's part of the family now. Like, Toby was starting to get used to him at the start. Toby and Oscar did not get on. Toby was, like, really, really scared. Like I said, Oscar loves to meet everyone. Like, any dog, any person, he has to stop and say hello to. And so that's really hard when you're walking them, because one wants to say hello and the other one doesn't. Um, but yeah, Toby would like crawl on the back of the sofa um, to try and get away from Oscar and Oscar would just want to say hello to him. Um, but yeah, we were like, no, Oscar's obviously going to stay with us now. Yeah, and also they let us take Oscar into the hospice to see my nan. And apparently I wasn't there, but I can just imagine this is so like him. He went and got on her bed and then like rested his head on her pillow and like as if he owned the place 
So yeah, my nan passed away in the June and we have had him ever since and we just can't imagine life without him. Um, to us he's like our little angel and sometimes he'll come over really, really loving and we sort of think of my nan then as if like she's coming through in Oscar. Um, yeah, so he has been sort of a really great help in sort of the grief process of my nan for the past three years um, and he's sort of like our little ray of hope that's come out of it uh, so yeah Oscar is um, a very naughty little dog I must say he loves to try and a escape anywhere um, eat anything he can um, and yeah he's just a right little mischief maker he is 10 so he's like a little grumpy old man he hates it if you like wake him up or get him out of bed or try and like sometimes if you pick him up he'll really like snap at you so, yeah oscar is partially blind in this eye when you look at his eye it looks like he's got a cataract the way it's really foggy um but we have been to the the um vets and they said it's not that it's something he was actually born with and that just has grown but he is very like capable still he's adapted really well to it um, and it doesn't really bother him. Sometimes he will walk into a door or if something comes from that side um, It sometimes scares him or if He won't see something if it's that side like his ball um, But yeah, other than that it doesn't really affect him too much um, And obviously it would cost a lot to operate on it and seeing as it's not really Affecting his day-to-day -day life. We thought we'd just leave him like that, wouldn't we Oz? But yeah, when, um, I forgot to say, like, where he actually came from, he was a, when he was fostered, he was a stud dog, um, so he was kept in a cage for pretty much, what, seven years of his life, um, so yeah, when he first came to us, he, A, couldn't bark at all, he had to have loads of his teeth out, um, he had to have his fur really, like, cut back, um, and he just absolutely loves being outdoors. My parents have a pretty big garden and he would just be out there all the time if he could. He loves to just sit out there, sit in the sun um, and just like, he will just roam the whole garden um, just for hours if he could. He loves to be outside and I think that is down to him um, being stuck in the cage for so long. Um, his favorite thing to play with is a tennis ball. Toby doesn't, Toby likes like soft, little toys that he can sort of carry around with him but Oscar's favourite thing is a tennis ball and a tennis ball that squeaks he absolutely loves that um, and I think again it's like he's gone back to a puppy with us he just loves to play loves to run about um, and yeah so Oscar also does have a ton of nicknames um, he actually came to us with the name Oscar so we didn't pick it um, Toby we were actually debating between Toby and Teddy and obviously now we couldn't think of him as anything else but a Toby. Um, but yeah, we were considering him to be a Teddy at one point. But Oscar's nicknames, he has a ton. Um, Oscar, Oz, Foz, Fozwold, Sergeant Fozwold, um, Fozington, Ozington. Yeah, Darren's particular favourite is Sergeant Fozwold. Um, yeah, Foswold and Ratty are their, their two like, particular names, aren't they? Aussie Bear! Aussie Bear! Yeah, we call them Aussie Bear as well, don't we? But it is like having two little teddy bears. We've got a little teddy bear and a little polar bear. And Oscar is literally the whitest, softest Westie I have ever known. Because a lot of Westies, unless like, you see them on cross, things like that, like day to day they can be like quite a cream colour and obviously they're white so they get dirty but like Oscar has got a little bit of cream running through him but everyone always says to my mum like how do you get him so white has he just had a wash he looks so fluffy and he's just like that the whole time um isn't that right he's listening to me talking yeah he loves his ear being scratched he loves the back of his like back like essentially his bottom being scratched I'll insert a little video clip he'll like put his like he'll like wiggle his bum and like lift his legs up it's really funny um yeah but he just he loves his ear rubbed as well some other little things about Oscar um 
one funny memory that he still will occasionally do. I have this bag that my nan gave to me um, for Christmas one year and he would always go in, like stick his head in my bag, knock it over and pull all the contents of it out. And it was weird because he would only for like most of the time do it with that bag. He did do it a couple of times with another bag, but like he would just do it with that bag that my nan got me. And we always thought it was weird. Like my nan was like playing a joke on us. Um, but yeah, I'd come down and like my bag was like tipped over. My mum would be like shouting at me to come and clear it all up. Um, but yeah, we at my parents' house in the land, they always have like an open bin. And a number of times he has stuck his head in there, tipped the bin over and um, gotten things out of it. I have one clip of when I was actually filming back at my mum's house. And um, yeah, well, I'll insert that clip. It involves a crisp packet. Um, but yeah, you can see just how cheeky he is. What is that noise? I'm, bear with me. <laughs> what has he got? Oscar? You've got a crisp packet out the bin. Oscar. Licking your lips. I can hear this rustling. Why did you tip the bin over? You're a naughty boy. Oh, blimey now, Oscar. Nothing is safe with Oscar. Hey. Can I resume filming now? Great. Look at Toby sitting like an angel. Look at you. He's a good boy. Come on. Up the stairs. I did think Oscar was like rummaging right through my bag because he has a tendency to tip everything out. Anyway, let's start this video again. But with all their cheeky little ways, like, we just would not be without them. They, they are part of our family and um, it'll be really hard when the time comes that, like, we have to sadly put them down. <laughs> Great, I'm nearly finishing this video and they've both literally just laid down and Toby's asleep. So yeah, I think that's maybe all I can think of right now. I'm trying to think if there's any other little funny stories. Like I said, they're very demanding for their food. Um, in the morning, you can hear them pacing around the room, um, especially Oscar, he'll pace around the room. Toby will whine, and then like, as soon as like you open one eye and let them know you're awake, it's like, bam, they want their breakfast. They're so food orientated. Whereas like, I know um, Darren's dog, hence we've got a Labrador cushion because Chet, his dog is a Labrador that lives back up with his mum. Um, I know he would like be quite happy to wait literally until someone gives him his food. So uh, yeah, I think they've worn you. Luckily, I hope they're gonna sleep well tonight because they've blew and worn themselves out. They were panting as soon as they got here and like they had to see every room in the house. It's like giving them a little house tour. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, what are you doing, Oscar? He's pacing now because he wants my attention. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, getting to meet the dogs a little bit more. I know this video was particularly all over the place because, what can I say, working with dogs it never works. Um, so yeah, and now I'm going to see if I can get Aaron to help me take a thumbnail with both of them, which may be quite hard. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get the camera and like try and show you what Oscar's doing, he's like pace and ground. But yeah, I'll probably insert a few more like photos and videos at the end of this video. Um, just so you can get more of an idea of their personality. Uh, but yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know what you thought in the comments and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Oh, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? Where's Darren? Hey, you want to go out? Do you want a biscuit? Come here. Don't give me a biscuit. Right.
gently. Good boy. G gently. Gently. Good boy. Yeah, that's, all. that's it. That's it. You're all gone. What can you smell? Hey. Hey. Oscar. <laughs> yeah, Ozzy. Oh yeah, sassy bottom, sassy bottom, sassy bottom. <laughs> you all done? You want to go out? You want to go play? Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited to see you, Dan. I've just been fed. Oh yes, I'm so excited. Sergeant Fred. No, yeah, I've been fed. Right, he's like, oh, I've been fed so much. Oh, yeah. Yeah. First word. Sergeant Ratty. Oh he's, oh, he's got the tennis balls. We're running up and down now. First word. Ratty. Come on, then. That's a good boy. Yeah. Oh, look. I want cuddles, he said. I was aiming for two-ish, you know. Should I do it for two and I'll put the chicken on about, I don't know, I think, it's a, because it's a big <laughs> one, I think it might take a couple of hours, so if I stick it in at 12. I'll see, what have you eaten? Oh, bloody hell. Toby, come here. Toby, uh, Toby, up, Toby. Toby, quickly, up. Toby, this, ski. Come on, quickly. Firstly, this is Oscar, if I can lift him up. Oh, come here. You start that little shit bag. Oscar, lay down. Oscar. Oh, look. 